Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Federal Reserve Transparency Act, which has passed the House already, um, is, is something that the Federal Reserve obviously has been uh, uh, opposed to. And one of the reasons they are opposed to it, uh, as, as I understand it, is it would politicize the monetary, uh, monetary policy, which is not what the bill actually uh, does. But uh, the, one reason, the other reason they give is that uh, if Congress had any subtle influence, they would uh, inflate to more than the Federal Reserve might want to. But it's sort of ironic, the Federal Reserve uh, kept interest rates too low too long, and the consensus now in the financial community is that is true. Interest rates are now still down at 1%, so hardly could the uh, Congress uh, uh, influence the Federal Reserve in a negative way by causing them to inflate uh, even more. But uh, there has been a political cozy relationship between Congress uh, and the Federal Reserve, although the Congress has been derelict in their responsibility to uh, perform oversight. But uh, when it comes to debt, uh, the Fed is there. They can monetize the debt and keep interest rates low. P the Congress can keep spending and get reelected. Uh, they don't have to raise taxes, so the Fed can act as a taxing authority. You print the money, dilute the value of the money. Prices go up. And price inflation is, is a tax. And when people pay a lot more for their medical care than they used to, they ought to think about the inflationary tax. Also, the Fed accommodates the Congress by liquidating debt. By debasement of the currency, the real value of the money goes down, the real, the, the real debt actually goes down. So in many ways, the Congress and the Fed does have a pretty cozy political uh, re relationship. But I would like to get to more specifics on the transparency bill because uh, it has been reported in the past that uh, during the 1980s that the Fed actually facilitated a $5.5 billion loan to Saddam Hussein, and he then bought weapons from our military industrial complex, and also that is when he invested in a nuclear reactor. A lot of cash was passed through, and a lot of people suppose it was passed through the Federal Reserve uh, when uh, there was a provisional government after 2003 uh, 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 invasion. It was not, that money was not appropriated by the Congress as the Constitution says. Also, there's been reports that the cash used in the Watergate scandal which came through the Federal Reserve. And when investigators back in those years tried to find out, they were always stonewalled and, and, and we couldn't get the information. But my question is, uh, you object to this idea that I would say, give us six months, after six months we could find out what we're doing. But what about giving us, give, give you 10 years? Would you, would you grant that the American people deserve to know whether the Federal Reserve has been involved in this and what kind of shenanigans they're involved with foreign countries and foreign central banks and, and find out possibly you're working right now to bail out Greece for all we know. But would you grant that after 10 or 15 years, the American people deserve to know? It seems like if the Fed was not involved with this, what no matter uh, no, uh, at, at all, it would be to your advantage to say, no, we don't do stuff like that. But why couldn't we open the books up 10 years back and find out the truth of these matters? Well, Congressman, I, these specific allegations you've made, I think, are absolutely bizarre. And I have absolutely no knowledge of anything remotely like what you just described. As far as the 10 years, after five years, we produce complete transcripts of every word said in the FOMC meeting, and so you have every word in front of you. But, but can we get the results of every agreement, every loan made, to, uh, loan yes, made sir. every single thing to every single foreign loan. governments? Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of information. When this came out in the early years, they did have an effort and the Federal Reserve never participated in this. And it's easily covered up. But I think e eventually, though, because this system is not viable and that it is this cozy relationship that we will get to the point where something will have to be done about this financial system. So as long as we continue this, uh, this cover-up, and quite frankly, I do not believe that the uh, real effort to facilitate some of these things that have been done in the past would become available to us because it is in the interest of the Federal Reserve to make sure that the people don't know. And right now, today, is it quite possible that uh, have you talked with any international uh, groups about us participating in a bailout of Greece? I have not. But the Federal Reserve, under the law, are capable of doing this. Isn't it, isn't it correct that the Fed can buy debt of other nations? Under the, and under the Monetary Control Act of 1980, is that not permissible? Yes, that's true, but we have no plans whatsoever to be involved in any foreign 
bailouts or anything of that sort. But uh, if they did, it certainly would be to our advantage to know about it. I would know back. about it. I, uh, gentleman's time has expired. I recognize the gentleman from Pennsylvania, but I do pledge this committee will look into the allegation that under Presidents Reagan and Nixon, the Federal Reserve was engaged in those activities. The gentleman said that during the 80s, the Federal Reserve lent money to Saddam Hussein, and during Watergate they did this, and I certainly agree that we should look into what might have happened under those two presidencies. The gentleman from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm... I'm Justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.